Zuzu, my dog, my best friend. Uh, he was given to me at three and a half weeks. He was handled by a seven-year-old girl who was really, really rough with him. Um, one day I just noticed a crate of puppies outside. There were four puppies, and the next day there were three puppies. Then on the third day there were two puppies, and I see this little girl, and I'm like, can I please hold your puppy? And from the moment I held him, I don't know, it, it was, my whole world shook. It was like love at first sight. And, uh, and, I, and I asked her, can I please have the puppy? I begged her for three days. Um, and finally, they gave in and they said that if I gave them $100, I could have the puppy. And uh, so I paid them. I paid them $100 and I had my puppy. And ever since then, my whole life changed. Um, I suffered from depression and panic attacks. And uh, he, my dog, would get me out of bed every single day um, with the panic attacks. He regulates my breathing. Um, we walked every single day. We played every single day. So much fun um, without skipping a day. And um, 2014, he was reluctant. I, I forgot what month it was, but he was reluctant to uh, to go up the stairs or on the bed. Um, so I took him to the vet, and he was diagnosed with uh, IVDD, which is disc degeneration. Um, and ever since then, nothing was the same anymore. We couldn't play the way we used to. We, we couldn't hardly play at all. Um, I had to take care of him as if he was a fragile piece of glass. I had to watch everything. And uh, I got rid of my sofas. I got rid of my bed just so that he wouldn't jump up and down. Uh, he slept on the mattress on the floor. And he had good days and bad days. But the bad days were coming more often, and uh, it was horrible. Uh, so horrible that that's, I didn't want to share those pictures or the videos, because I, I don't even want to remember that time. Um, and then on January 29th, he had a major setback, and he wasn't coming out of this one. He, he, I thought I really had to say goodbye to my dog. and. Uh, I was so desperate that I contacted a pet communicator. I usually don't believe in those things, but I was, like I said, I was desperate. I was devastated. Every single moment I could, I was praying. I was like, God, please help my dog. Please, I just need a miracle. I need a miracle. So I spoke to this lady and she was the one that told me about stem cell therapy, which I had no idea of. So I immediately looked into it and um, he was a candidate, but he was considered a compassionate case because uh, usually for IVDD, uh, I, I don't, I really don't understand, but usually that's not what um, they use uh, the stem cell therapy for or is a different protocol. Um, so for him, he needed three injections once every month. Um, so I went for it. And uh, on the first injection, um, two weeks, I started noticing that he was in so much pain anymore, but I was still in denial. Um, then he went for the second injection and like four days he was up and um on the third on the third week of the second injection he jumped on me and he hasn't done that in so long and he was really spunky and wanting to play and me i'm still in denial but i'm actually like seeing the change plus i didn't i didn't have to give him pain pills but I was still like, no, this can't be, this just this, this can't be true, even though I wanted it to be true, but I was just like, no, no, I can't believe this. So then when we went for the third injection, not even like, I think it was like the following day, he was already up, no pain. It, it, 
initiate initiating play and i'm like whoa then the a week he's like going up and he's just i just couldn't believe it and at that point i was like wow i think this actually is working and it hit me i was like oh my god god actually gave me the miracle that i've been so praying for for years it's like till this day i have not had to give him a pain pill not one it's like i I got my bed we got our bed back it's he goes up and down we play every day it's like just the fact that that I don't even have to give him any pain. I don't remember the last time that I had to give him anything for pain. He's just like pain free. Like this was even more than than I even thought it would be. And uh, and to this day, I'm so I'm so I, I still thank I'm still thanking God and and, and thankful every single day because miracles ex- miracles do happen i prayed for a miracle and i got it with uh, with the stem cell and i highly recommend this for anyone who's suffering any person or any dog and uh, my dog it's like like he never had anything it's like I know it's not a cure but at the same time it looks like it because he's like i don't as a matter of fact, I still can't believe it, you know, but it, but it is, but it's true. This really saved my dog and uh, and Medivet, along with the doctors, uh, they were always there for me. Like if I had a question and I couldn't get to my doctor, I would call Medivet and uh, Medivet would respond. Um, they, they care about the dogs. Uh, They treated me really, really nice, and they were with me throughout this whole journey with this stem cell, and it's the best thing I ever did, and I'm thankful. I was crazy enough to talk to a pet communicator because my dog is, my dog is is healed. This really healed him. I'm so thankful. Like I said, this was a miracle. Look at my dog. Look at him. This is him now. I can't believe it. I never thought I could. I just, I'm so happy. Oh my God, did I fucking do this? Please.